Marvel here again and today I just purchased um, a new SDS cordless drill and I'd been thinking of buying one for quite some time now I was looking at a couple on eBay I was mainly going to go for the DeWalt ones because I already had uh, a whole range of 18 volt DeWalt tools however when I went to the market today uh, I picked up quite a lot of other tools there's like a couple on the floor, if you can see in the right of the screen, it's just on the tripod, I'm just moving it. And um, yeah, and I came by this Bosch, this Bosch drill. And it's uh, the value I got it, uh, it was pretty good. Um, basically, uh, it's a 36 volt compact battery pack, so they're 13 amp hour each. This drill was manufactured in 2010, so it's only been used for approximately two or three years and um, it's lithium ion and it's a uh, it's a Bosch professional as in it's blue so uh, it's a Bosch hammer it's only got two modes unlike my other Bosch hammer which is a 240 volt uh, corded and it's this has just got a hammer action and um, just a, t a turned action it hasn't got a rotary stop um, it's the GBH 36 VLI and uh, if you can see these ribs these basically compress they compress in and out and it's, uh, it reduces the vibration that comes in your hand and uh, it says that they're vibration control it's just the drill has been used and uh, generally my brand new tools will never hit this condition as in I take care of mine I wouldn't let them get like this and uh, drill it's all right. It's it's not it's not heavy. You can hold it in one hand comfortably. You can use it in one hand comfortably. Um, it's got a depth gauge, but this one's missing. But I I never use them. They're just not really accurate enough. Uh, to take the battery out, you just undo this a bit so you can move it out the way. And uh, basically, you just press the button. It locks in. Press it. Pull it out, and then press it a little bit more, and it will come out. And just put the drill down, but. The neat thing about these ones is they've got a battery indicator and an overheat indicator because these are lithium ion they've got electronic cell protection so that basically stops you from overloading the battery or anything and this one's been on two two bars because I just bought the thing uh, he charged it a little bit and um, yeah and uh, I just used it, I just tested it just to make sure everything was working properly because buying stuff from a market uh, can be a bit of a problem sometimes and just the stats on this drill it says uh, lithium ion 36 volt DC 13 amp power made in Poland and the dates there 2010 uh, so I've used it a little bit I um, redecorated my living room tomorrow so uh, I will be using this quite a lot because I will be disconnecting power I'll be putting new sockets so this would be really handy um, yeah, SDS Plus. So it just it just to put a new bit in. Let me see if I can get a bit for you. Uh, sorry, it was right by the camera. So currently, I've been testing it with this drill bit. I think I'm not sure how big it is. It's a 22 mil 22 mil drill bit. So that in the corner you won't see it. It's covered by dust. Um, yeah, but it's a. It's a fairly, fairly new bit. Flutes are really sharp. Still got a good tip. And it being an SDS Plus, just push it in and let the ball bearings engage and just smack it down. And that's your. And it should lock in. To release, um, I'm just resting the drill against myself. Just press it in and pull it out. So to push it in, you just literally push it in. That's what I like. Some of them you don't, you can't do that. Um, so. It's got a bit of a soft start, so if you if you listen carefully, from when I press the trigger, and just watch and just listen, when I press the trigger, it will have a kind of delayed start. Yeah, it starts really slowly, and then it will build build up the speed. It starts off at this speed, so it will build up from there and go like that kind of thing. So if I and it's pretty cool like that because it helps stop the wandering when you drill. I also forgot to mention it's got forward and reverse and you can put it in the middle to lock the trigger which is what I also really like um, yeah so it, it's a great drill it doesn't weigh that much 
It's good for someone that'd be willing to use it every day. Uh, this drill has got a bigger brother. Uh, what I mean by that is it's actually just bigger. I've, I was looking at buying the big one, and uh, but I came across this before I uh, got to a bidding on it on eBay, and um, I took this because I liked it. Um, I'll do a drill a couple of holes outside, show you what kind of speeds it takes, and uh, yeah. So, so I'm back, back and I just looked in my screw fix catalog that this drill retails for 350 quid, and it's it weighs exactly 2.9 kilos, and it's got a 45 minute charger, and uh, it says it drills up to 100 holes, but I don't really ever believe in that because. Um, Technically, it depends on the kind of size drill bit you got. So I'll just drill a couple of holes for you, and uh, we'll see what it's like. If you can see that, that's the mechanical clutch engaging, and it's pretty quick to engage, so uh, that's what I really like about it. It's got a lot of safety features. So, just drilled one hole because it's pretty late now. It's getting to about it's getting to about uh, eight o'clock now. So just do the one hole, and yeah, it, it did the full length of the drill bit, and the clutch is really nice. And so my battery still got. Well, I only charged a little bit, and it's still pretty decent. It's a big hole, mind you, uh, and I'd, I'd be really fine to use core drills. Thanks for watching, and uh, I'll have a couple more reviews uh, within the next couple of weeks.